Hey there, fellow movie buffs. Do you remember the good old days when y'all gather around the TV, perhaps with a bowl of buttery popcorn in hand, to catch the classic 1952 film, Kansas City Confidential? Ah, oh, those were the times, weren't they? I bet you've got some incredible memories tucked away in the corners of your mind, waiting to be dusted off and shared. So, let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? What were your favorite moments from the movie? Did any of the characters leave a lasting impression on you? Or maybe you've got some fascinating anecdotes about your personal experience with the show or film. There's just something about those timeless classics that brings out the nostalgia in all of us, and Kansas City Confidential is no exception. So, don't be shy, let's hear your stories. Share those cherished recollections that still make you smile. And as you reminisce, get ready to dive into some intriguing random facts about this iconic movie. But first, let's relish in the beauty of shared memories. Go ahead, spill the beans about your Kansas City Confidential moments, and let's keep that cinematic conversation rolling. The 1952 movie Kansas City Confidential has an interesting connection to the 1968 film The Thomas Crown Affair. Both movies share a unique concept, the idea of a holdup where each member of the gang doesn't know who hired them or who the other gang members are. This element of uncertainty adds a layer of intrigue to the plot, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. Another noteworthy aspect of Kansas City Confidential is the issue of copyright. Due to the failure of the original copyright holder to renew the film's copyright, it fell into the public domain. This meant that virtually anyone could duplicate and sell a VHS or DVD copy of the film. Consequently, many of the versions of this film available on the market suffer from severe editing and poor quality as they were copied from second or third generation sources. In terms of the film's production, it's worth mentioning that during a fight scene, John Payne, one of the film's stars, accidentally broke some of Jack Lamb's ribs. Such incidents are not uncommon in the world of filmmaking where action sequences can sometimes lead to unexpected injuries. Kansas City Confidential remains a classic in the crime thriller genre, known for its intriguing plot and the unique twist of the unknown gang members. Despite copyright issues affecting its quality in some versions, it continues to captivate audiences with its suspenseful narrative. Kansas City Confidential is a classic crime film that has left its mark on the world of cinema. One intriguing connection is the inspiration it provided to Quentin Tarantino for his 1992 film Reservoir Dogs. Tarantino has openly acknowledged the influence of Kansas City Confidential on his work. The parallels between the two movies are evident, particularly in the heist elements and the use of masks to conceal the identities of the criminals. Furthermore, the Anderson tapes featured masks that bore a striking resemblance to those worn by the crew in Kansas City Confidential during their armored car heist. This suggests that the iconic masks from the 1952 film had a lasting impact on the portrayal of criminals in subsequent movies. Intriguingly, promotional material for Kansas City Confidential falsely claimed that parts of the film were shot in Mexico and Guatemala. In reality, the majority of the movie was filmed in a Hollywood studio, with specific boating scenes filmed on California's Santa Catalina Island. This misdirection in marketing highlights the movie industry's historical penchant for creating a mystique around film locations, even when the truth was closer to home. Kansas City Confidential continues to be a source of inspiration and fascination for filmmakers and movie buffs alike. Its influence on Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs and the recurring use of its iconic masks in the Anderson tapes serve as testaments to its enduring impact on the world of cinema. In the world of film, the legacy of Kansas City Confidential endures, making it a noteworthy piece of cinematic history. In the 1952 movie Kansas City Confidential, there isn't substantial information available about the specific wristwatch worn by Mr. Big at the beginning of the movie or its current value. Similarly, there isn't enough information to expand on the collaboration between Neville Brand and Jack Lamb in The Last Sunset or the equivalent value of the $1.2 million stolen from the bank in 1952. However, I can provide an interesting fact about the movie. Kansas City Confidential is known for its gritty, noir-style storytelling and memorable heist plot. The film revolves around an armored car robbery gone wrong 
and the efforts to catch the culprits. Directed by Phil Carlson, it features a cast of talented actors, including John Payne, Colin Gray, and Lee Van Cleef. The film's suspenseful narrative and sharp cinematography have made it a classic in the crime genre. Although we couldn't explore the specific details you mentioned, the enduring appeal of Kansas City Confidential lies in its timeless depiction of crime and justice, making it a must-watch for fans of classic cinema. Quentin Tarantino's inspiration, Kansas City Confidential Quentin Tarantino, the acclaimed filmmaker, has openly acknowledged that his 1992 crime thriller Reservoir Dogs drew significant inspiration from the 1952 movie Kansas City Confidential. The similarities between the two films are evident, making it a notable influence on Tarantino's work. Kansas City Confidential, directed by Phil Carlson, is a classic noir film that revolves around an ex-con named Joe Rolfe who becomes entangled in a complex heist involving masked criminals. The move is plot, featuring a meticulously planned robbery, and the subsequent unraveling of secrets among the criminals, serves as a template for Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs. In both films, viewers are thrust into the gritty underworld of crime, where trust is a rare commodity and betrayal lurks around every corner. The characters in Reservoir Dogs and Kansas City Confidential share certain traits, including aliases and a sense of paranoia, which adds to the tension and suspense. Furthermore, Tarantino's signature non-linear storytelling style, where events are presented out of chronological order, can be traced back to the narrative structure of Kansas City Confidential. The film's use of flashbacks and shifting perspectives likely influenced Tarantino's approach to storytelling. Despite the passage of four decades between the release of Kansas City Confidential and Reservoir Dogs, the influence of the former on the latter remains evident. Quentin Tarantino's acknowledgement of this influence underscores the enduring impact of classic cinema on contemporary filmmaking. It's worth noting that Kansas City Confidential holds a special place in the annals of film history, not just for its influence on Tarantino, but also for its contribution to the noir genre. Even today, it serves as a compelling example of suspenseful storytelling, and remains a reference point for filmmakers seeking to explore the darker aspects of human nature within a crime-driven narrative. However, the legacy of Kansas City Confidential is also intertwined with copyright issues, leading to numerous versions of varying quality and circulation. The failure of the original copyright holder to renew the film's copyright has resulted in its entry into the public domain. Consequently, many available copies suffer from poor editing and subpar visual quality due to being duplicated from second or third generation sources. In conclusion, Kansas City Confidential has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema, most notably in Quentin Tarantino's work. Its influence on Reservoir Dogs and the enduring appeal of its noir storytelling continue to captivate audiences, despite the challenges posed by copyright issues in the distribution of the film. As we draw the curtains on our cinematic journey through the enigmatic world of the 1952 classic, Kansas City Confidential, I invite you to take a moment to reflect. This film, a gem of its era, transcends time and space, weaving a tale of crime, deceit, and redemption that resonates with the very essence of human nature. As you've journeyed through the shadows of Kansas City, you've witnessed the intricacies of a meticulously plotted heist and the unexpected alliances that form in its aftermath. You felt the tension rise as the characters walk the thin line between right and wrong, making choices that reveal their true nature. Perhaps you've even found yourself rooting for the antiheroes, caught in the moral ambiguity of the narrative. Kansas City Confidential is more than just a movie, it's a mirror that reflects our own complexities and the choices we make when faced with adversity. It reminds us that even in the darkest of times, there's room for redemption and unexpected connections. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts. What moments from the film stuck with you? Which characters left an indelible mark on your memory? Do you see reflections of your own life in this cinematic masterpiece? Your insights, memories, and reflections are a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic journey with us. Your presence and engagement enrich our exploration of cinema's timeless treasures. Until our next adventure, remember that the world of film is a tapestry of human experiences waiting to be unraveled. Keep the conversation alive, share your thoughts, and let the legacy of Kansas City Confidential continue to shine brightly.
Warm regards.